We're going to have a look at now how to create an axonometric drawing. Uh, what we're going to try to do is to create cutaway floor plans this time. So we're doing a cutaway in a horizontal cut. Uh, in order to view this, it doesn't work really well with what we're trying to do. We're, we're working towards making an exploded axonometric floor plan set. We can't do that in one go. We sort of need to do it in parts. And so the first thing we need to do is to create an axonometric view. We can see that the 3D symbol is different for axonometric to a perspective. But to understand what this is, how we make this, this is view, 3D view options, axonometric. Or if we go into 3D projection settings, we're choosing a an axonometric view. There are um, standard isometric or axonometric views. Mine's custom. I could change this if I want to. It just means that that's steeper. Of course, th again, this is the prescribed, so the very, very sharp angle as if we were drafting it. So we could use one of these standardized ones. Let's go back into the 3D projection settings. But for me, it's just a bit too sharp. It's not creating the angle that we want. I want it to be a little bit flatter because our intention is to separate the views. And most importantly, it's not perspective. So there's no diminishing. Uh, and all the verticals will always remain vertical, which is going to be important later on. Now, what we're trying to do now that we've got the AXO full, the, the full 3D view, is now we're going to try to create a horizontal cut. In order to do this, what we're doing is going into view... Elements in 3D view, and we're creating a 3D cutting plane. So I'm creating a custom cutting plane. The other way that we can do this is to click, drag a new cutting plane from here, and I'm dragging it down, dragging through the model you know, from the top down and to a point where I'm happy. Now what I want to do, it's, it's a little bit weird, I could basically go to the floor or I could go just above the floor, but I, I want to see maybe just a bit of walls, uh, and I want to be able to see inside the model. Because I'm uh, a very flat view, because I'm not very high up in terms of uh, representing above the ground, if I see too much walls, it's just going to hide everything. It doesn't work really well. So I have to make this view quite flat. Again, like I've said before, it's a bit of a strange one. One other way that we could treat this is actually make it on the ground, just make it basically the slab, or very, very close to the slab, and to later on, I'll press finalize, uh, to actually place a floor plan over this. So it's a bit of editing, uh, combining 2D and 3D things together to make it look good, but that can produce a pretty good result. So it looks a bit vague at the moment, it looks a bit strange at the moment, but I'm going to keep this, I'm going to save this as a save view, and then I'm going to create another one, the next story up, and then another one, the next story up, and then in a later video, I'll then show you how we can combine these to create an interesting effect. So under my new 3Ds, I'm going to save this, and so I'll call this AXO plan, uh, I could call it zero 01 or lower ground or something like that. Now, what I want to do, you're supposed to be able to click here and I can delete this, but it's a bit fiddly. So what I'm going to do is go view 3D cutting planes, delete all cutting planes, and then I'm going to redo that one again. And this time I'm not going to go down as far. So I want to be just above ground level in this case. So I could see some of my walls, or I could again be at ground level, it doesn't really matter. Finalize that view and save that as a new AXO. And then finally, or actually, there's another one still to come. Do the same thing view, delete. Create it again. This time I want to be here, just so I'm seeing the garage one as well. Uh, 
finalize one more This is sort of two levels combined in one. I could do this as two views. I'm just going to keep it simple at the moment and just do it as one. And we'll go AXO plan four. Now, at the moment, I haven't separated these. I haven't lifted them up vertically. We can do that later. We could separate those stories now in order to understand what we're talking about, but I'll do that in another video to show you what I'm talking about. And we can combine these views together um, to create this multi-leveled floor plan. So stay tuned.